Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Riley and I make videos occasionally and and do weird stuff. So, welcome. You guys have been asking a lot lately about how I take pictures and what I edit with and how I edit and I thought that I'd answer these questions and help you guys see what the process is. I don't know how this video is gonna go but I'm sure it's gonna go smoothly or not so at all. So uh, with that, let's get started. So the process is what anyone would expect when it comes to taking pictures. You kind of need certain things, you need good lighting, you need to know what you're doing, you need to have a camera of sorts, or even you can use your iPhone. Um, there's just a lot that it's basic knowledge, but it's finding those angles that you know that works well and that will work. Um, I think it's just a process of learning and your pictures don't always come out the way that you expect them to. Sometimes they're better or come out completely different than what you had envisioned and that's completely okay too. It's a process. It's a learning process that it takes everybody a good while to, to figure it out. Everyone has a different style and I think that's something that you need to grasp on before you start this or as you become a photographer or um, are a photographer. I think it's pretty bland when somebody tries copying another person's style because that's not you. That's Even if you're not stealing the picture, it's almost like that's not who you are. I feel like finding your style is the most important thing that a photographer or somebody that enjoys taking pictures or making art has to understand is just because you like somebody else's art or photography doesn't mean that you should copy them because you could do something completely out of the box and unique and that is true to you versus making something that somebody else has already created. So personally, I think that's something to keep in mind the entire process of this. Things that I use for when I take my self-portraits is the Canon T7i with the 18 by 55 millimeter. I also use a tripod and I find that very important when you take self-portraits because you don't have another person to take the pictures. This is all up to you. A remote is very important, but you can also use the countdown on your camera. I use my phone though to take the pictures because my Canon is Bluetooth automated. Obviously, you're going to want to have a location Cool or not, you can make it what it is, bring some cool props, or just take some pictures. I use my house a lot of the time and I ended up using my downstairs bathroom. You're also going to want to have lighting, which you could use a flash, an external flash, or a light source. So I decided to use my ring light, which I use for a lot of my pictures as well as videography. So once you find the location, which it's gonna be in my bathroom, <laughs> you're gonna wanna figure out the lighting and setting scenarios, try to find what works best for you, take some test shots, move around the camera if you need to, move around the lighting, or put on the flash. It really just depends on where you are. I shoot in sport most of the time just because it's easiest and it captures a lot of different movement and I like the tone of it, but I also like shooting a lot in manual, so just keep that in mind. Feel free to mess around with the settings. You don't always have to keep it on the same settings. After that, I connect my phone to the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so then I can see myself from farther distances. Then I can have my phone as a remote to change the settings on the camera from my phone or to take the picture, which is very crucial in my opinion and it makes the process so much smoother. When I shoot, I try to do so many different movements. I normally end up getting about maybe 20, 30 pictures of the same setting and everything. And then I like to change it up to give myself variety, find a picture that I like, and most of the time I'm very happy with the results. So once we do that, once we like the pictures and find the pictures that we want to use, I import them onto Lightroom. Highly suggested getting Lightroom. It will change your life, your game. Everybody has a different way of editing, but I have a preset that I like using most of the time. I'll put the link in the description if I can find it. For a while there, I was using an orange and teal preset, and I really, really liked it, but I kind of wanted to change it up a little bit, and that's so I've been kind of going away from that. Right now, I mess around a lot with the settings. I like my highlight down all the way. Um, I bring up the shadows a little bit, 
move around the exposure and contrast and I like to add a little bit of grain so I don't like to edit way too much on this um, if I need to whiten up my smile or highlight my eyes or do anything like that I'll do it but then um, I like to go into visco cam after I export them and airdrop them to my phone I go to visco cam and I edit it on there I'm currently obsessed with K1 and K2 um, I also really like the black and white filters on there, but I don't necessarily post black and white pictures very often, although I really, really enjoy them. And then I also mess around with the highlight on there and the grain, but I don't really do any of the technical settings on there. I just leave that all up to Lightroom, and that's that. Then I export it back onto my phone, pick a picture, and upload it onto Instagram. And that's that. Okay, so I thought it was appropriate to be drinking out of my lens cup, and oh my gosh, hold on. This tea is so, so good on my stomach. Um, which one is this? So Sip Spy is an amazing tea company. Um, just saying, they send you a subscription of freaking tea every month, and it's super affordable, and it's always so good. And it's made for me. This is the Paris Sachet. And it has oolong, black tea, vanilla, and caramel. Ooh, and put milk in it. Oh, why didn't I think of that? It's really sweet. And they sent me a ton of it. And I really, really like it. They also sent me, I don't know how they knew, but if you didn't know, I was in a car accident like a month ago. And I also just broke my finger. And I'm in a lot of pain. Um, and they sent me this Soothe Your Aches and Pains Remedy by Abe. Oh my gosh, and it has cinnamon and chocolate. How do they know that I'm really like on this high for sugar? So yeah, that's that. Just thought I'd share my mug and my favorite teas right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was a little different than what I normally do, but I thought that I'd throw this in there since you guys have been begging for me to post something like this. I hope this met your expectations. If not, dislike this video. But if it did, like this video. And while you're at it, subscribe. Only if you want. Let me clarify that. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Bye. In the middle of the night.